know the 10 second rule. Almost all students with Down syndrome have greater receptive language skills than expressive language skills. This is due in part to taking longer time to process information. It takes them more time, uninterrupted time, to think about what someone has said and how to respond verbally or physically. A commonly seen example is when a teacher asks the students to put away their materials and come to the circle to sit down. A student with Down syndrome may just want to sit there for a while. And within one to two seconds, I see the teacher, or more likely an aide, prompt that student and say, come on little Susie, put away your materials and let's go sit down. What that does is just short circuit what Susie was thinking and not allow her to figure out on her own how to respond. That creates more prompt dependency and less independence. More often than not, when the teacher requests something verbally, if you just allow 10 seconds, and that's a long time, for that student to process the information, think about how to respond appropriately, and to do it, that student will comply. So giving 10 seconds can make a huge difference in the world of students with Down syndrome.